Hi everyone, my name is Hưng and today I will be the presenter about Akamai technology, which is a case study in the e-commerce corps. First of all, I will introduce our group members, which include me, Thang, Tien, and Hang. And our presentation will be divided into uh, three main parts, which is key contents about Akamai technology, actually about the case study. Secondly, I will an analyze some main points, some big main points of this case study. And finally, we will answer three questions in the end of the case study. Now let's come into detail. I will discuss firstly about some key contents of the case Akamai technology. Oh, Akamai technology, first of all, it is one of the web's major helpers. You know, it officially launched in August 1998. And Akamai developed the Akamai Intelligent platform made up over 216,000 servers in 120 countries within over, you know, 1,500 networks around the world. So this platform is totally based on cloud computing to not only uh, identify and block security threats, provide comprehensive knowledge of network conditions, but also instant device level detection and optimization. And as you guys can guess, thanks to this platform, customers can move their web content closer to end users to welcome my servers in arrays. It's some certain arrays. The ship toward cloud computing and the mobile platform, you know, as well as the growing popularity of streaming video has provided Akamai uh, with new growth opportunities. As more businesses and business models are moving to the web, Akamai has seen its client base continue to grow beyond the most powerful internet retailers and online content providers. Uh, in 2014, Akamai made a push to encourage Hollywood studios to use a cloud for feature films touting its ability to handle uploads and downloads of large video files and to quickly convert files from one format to another and last but not least to apply DRM broad protections and you know establishing partnerships with movie studios by this way represented big business for Akamai with an increasing amount of media consumption taking place on mobile devices through the cloud. Akamai, you know, has also made agreements to become the primary content delivery platform for cloud service providers like Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud Platform. However, the growth of streaming video has only created new challenges for Akamai including increased competition from Comcast and Amazon, which have built competing content delivery services. Besides, reducing carbon emissions and energy expenditure as grow, demand grows has been another challenge for Akamai. Now let's move on to the second main part of our presentation, which is an analysis of some key points. And the very first one key point is the growth of internet and mobile. And I want to make sure that everyone can understand the internet. What is the internet? It is an interconnected network of thousands of networks and millions of computers linking businesses, educational institutions, government agencies and individuals. And this definition of the internet is included in the textbook when you just mentioned back to remind everyone of the exact definition of internet. And you know, some of the points in the case tell that uh, internet traffic has increased over 500% since 2010 and is predicted to nearly triple by 2019. 
CISO estimated that annual global internet traffic will be around 2.3 gigabytes in 2020. And when it comes to business field, mobile devices become the primary access point to social network services and a rapidly expanding social marketing and advertising platform and create a foundation for location-based web services and business models. It is the reason why mobile platform traffic grew by almost 75% in 2015 and may soon, you know, it can push cellular networks, the internet, to their capacity as mentioned in the case. The second part of analysis is about cloud computing and some essential characteristic of cloud computing that everyone should know is first, on-demand self-service and customer can obtain computing capabilities such as server time or network storage as needed automatically on their own. Secondly, ubiquitous network access and cloud resources can be accessed using standard network and the internet devices including mobile platforms. Next, another characteristic is location in the independent resource pooling and computing resources are pooled to serve multiple users with different virtual resources dynamically dynamically assigned according to user demand and the user generally does not know where the computing resources are located. Next, rapid elasticity Computing resources can be rapidly provisioned, increase or decrease to meet changing user demand. Uh, last but not least, measure service is also an, a characteristic, characteristic. Changes for cloud resources are based on the amount of resources actually used. Now, next is some limitation of the internet, which is also the reason why Kona Tune is mentioned in the case. And the very first limitation is bandwidth limitation. And the result is low peak hour service and a limited ability to handle high volumes of video and voice traffic. Another one is quality of service limitations. And this creates the phenomenon of latency which is the delays in messages caused by the uneven flow of information packets through the network. Uh, the next limitation is network architecture. And the final one is wide internet. And the wide nature of the internet restricts the mobility of users, although it is changing rapidly as Wi-Fi hotspot proliferate and cellular phone technology advances. And the Kona tune is mentioned in the case. It is because, you know, because of some limitation I just uh, mentioned above. And this tune can protect against DDoS, which is a service uh, distributed Daniel service that it can attack and include a firewall for web applications. Yeah, in 2016, Akamai rolled out new improvements to Kona's web application firewall and analytics features. And Akamai also upgraded Site Defender's web application firewall feature and developed modifications to the tool that make it easier for its, its user to use. Yeah, now this is the final part of our presentation and I think this is the most significant one because we can you know f answer some main questions and find out some more you know conclusion about case study first question is why does a command need to geographically disperse its server to deliver its customers web content yeah briefly the internet was originally developed to carry text-based email messages among a relatively small group of researchers, not bandwidth hop hopping graphics, sound and video files to tens of million people at all once. Also, every 
1,500 bytes package of information sent over the internet must be verified by the receiving server and an acknowledgement sent to the sending server. Each packet can go through many different servers on its way to its final you know, destination, multiplying by several orders of magnitude the number of acknowledgments required to move a packet from New York to San Francisco. This means that the internet today spans much of its time and capacity verifying package, causing latency. One of the founders of Akamai, Daniel Lewin, came up with the, the idea to store copies of web content such as pictures and video clips at many different locations around the internet. This is so that a client can always retrieve a nearby copy, making web pages load faster. Akamai's main product does just that. It allows customers to move their web content closer to end users, which increases the speed at which the content can be served. The second question is, if you wanted to deliver software content over the internet, would you sign up for Akamai's service? Why or why not? And, you know, bandwidth requirements of the software contain the number of simultaneous dollars and the customer requirements are all factors, main factors, in determining whether a firm should use a service such as Akamai's. A small piece of software less than 1 megabyte can be downloaded from a single server to a single user in a few seconds using DSL or cable modem. However, if 10,000 users start to download the same software simultaneously, the time required to serve all users would be significantly higher. On the order of several minutes or more, firms that expect this sort of demand would be well served Akamai, by Akamai. And the last question is, do you think internet users should be charged based on the amount of bandwidth they consume? or on a tire plan where users would pay in rough proportion to their users. You know, pay for use is a simple principle in economies that is widely accepted. Applied to the internet in a way simu- uh, similar to a telephone system throughout the world, users would be charged a meter amount of their use of bandwidth. People who stream Netflix, for example, all day long would pay more for their internet service than people who just send email messages. In general, the ISP industry from AT&T, Verizon, and Comcast to Little Mom and Pop local providers support pay for use in large part because it would allow them to maximize revenue from their technology investments. So-called net neutrality supporters argue that Internet access should be available to all regardless of use and paid for equally by all through flat fees. Charging the EU would discriminate in their view against certain kinds of content like high bandwidth video, streaming music, and perhaps game. In general, internet companies such as Google, Amazon, Yahoo, Netflix and many others do not want pay for use because they are concerned that it could hinder their ability to maximize revenue from their platforms. So this is the end of our presentation about the case study of Akamai technology in e-commerce costs. So thank you for listening and if you have any questions just uh, give her immediately and we'll, we'll answer every question from people, other people. Thank you for listening. Yeah.